My next guest sheds light on the hidden side of climate change and how products we use every day, like Netflix or a cashmere sweater, are contributing to it. Joining me now is Tatiana Schlossberg, a climate journalist and author of the new book, Inconspicuous Consumption, The Environmental Impact You Don't Know You Have. Welcome. Thank I'm going to so tell much. people that I told you during the commercial. It's a scary book. Yeah, I know. Because you've, you've compiled all these statistics, and you're like, wait a minute, I'm part of this. Right. But, but talk about the title and what it means. Right, so I wanted to write a book that, um, so it's, it's called Inconspicuous Consumption, and, and that really speaks to how the little things that we don't even think of as having any particular climate impact at all really connect to this global problem and kind of connect us, each one of us, through the, the stuff that we use and buy and eat and wear and how we get around to this you know larger global problem and to the lives of people in different parts of the world but i also wanted to write a book that you know i mean this is a serious and scary problem and i wouldn't mm -hmm. want to write a book that didn't make it seem that way but i i think i tried to write it also in a way that would make people feel interested and engaged in the problem as opposed to feeling just scared and anxious and like they wanted to go hide from it all well listen you can be scared and anxious because it's ginormous right i mean it li literally the way that the planet seems to be imploding on itself and will not have the sustainable energy and resources and everything to continue, right? That's a lot of the problem. But I'd like to use examples. And in this book, um, you talk about cashmere sweaters and how goats in Mon Mongolia are affected, how the land there is affected. Can you just explain that? Because I found that to be incredibly eye-opening. Yeah, so I was really, you know, I wasn't planning on writing about cashmere. And then I talked to a you know, woman who studies sustainable clothing, and she's like, you have to write about cashmere. So um, basically, you know, cashmere comes from the hair of goats and these goats mainly live in Mongolia. Yes. Goat. Sheep. Good. Good. Cashmere. Cashmere. Oops. Cashmere. That's cashmere. Oh. Ah and parts of China, um, which is an area of the world that's already experiencing climate change at a faster rate than much of the rest mm. of the world. So the rest of the world has warmed about one degree Fahrenheit on average, and Mongolia has warmed four degrees Fahrenheit on average. Um, but in addition to that, the, the, there are all these goats there, and because of some geopolitical um, dynamics and patterns of consumption, there are many, many more goats than there used to be. And because they eat plants, you know, they pull up the grass they're by grazing. the roots. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, grazing, yeah. but they eat the whole thing instead of just, you know. nibbling at the top um, and they also have really sharp hooves that kind of break up the soil which then when the winds come spreads across the landscape and adds desert so it adds about around a thousand square miles of desert every year <laughs> which is amazing, but it doesn't, somehow it doesn't end there. Um. Um, so the winds blow that sand east to Beijing and other parts of China, more industrial parts of China. So it combines with, you know, soot from factories or from coal-fired power plants, adds to the air pollution there. And then, in, in, especially in the spring, um, you know, in about five days, then ends up in the east coast, uh, west coast of the United States um, and adds to air pollution there. So at, at least one additional day of um, ozone pollution yeah. above federal limits um, in California can be attributed to, to dust from China. I mean, again, you make this point in the book, it blew my mind. I'm like, what, that cashmere sweater that I got? Right. But look, how how do we combat this? I mean, you're talking about holding corporations mm -hmm. and, it, and governmental administrations around the world accountable, right? You've yeah. got to step up. Right. I think the, the argument that I'm trying to make in the book is that, you know, yes, our sweaters or whatever else it is, you know, connects to this problem, but that it's really much bigger than that. Um, and each one of us, you know, we're not going to solve the problem by buying one fewer cashmere sweater a year that this really will take systemic change on a global level and that has to happen from from governments you know um, putting regulations in place and also from corporations you know doing more to mm -hmm. um, you know to have sustainable practices and you know lessen their impact overall Tatiana Schlossberg the book is inconspicuous consumption and I got to tell you it's very very well written because it's compartmentalized you can read a chapter